Glow. This is Excalibur. Uh, this is a primary class blaster, uh, similar to a Caliburn, um, but a little bit shorter, a little bit lighter powered, still more powerful than a Talonclaw or an Alchemist. Um, and this uses full length darts or Talon magazines if you use this built in magazine adapter, which we'll cover in a bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a, you know, pump action magazine fed blaster. Um, you've probably seen, you know, similar stuff to this a lot. Um, but this is my take on something on the same tier as a Caliburn. Um, so people keep asking for a blaster that fires full length darts from me. Uh, keep asking me to do that. So I made that. That was the whole kind of genesis of this was just full length darts because people keep asking for it less powerful than a Caliburn because the Caliburn has too much power in my opinion. Um, having that long of a prime stroke both makes it harder to actually, you know, use as well as too much power for a lot of games and too much power, especially for the full length darts to work well. Um, other than that, this has a ton of like quality of life features uh, that are a lot better than a Caliburn or a Talonclaw or something like that, and are even better than the Alchemist, which is a blaster that I made, um, which is essentially this same thing, but just for Talons, uh, just for short darts, uh, and with a different plunger system and shorter front. But other than that, this is in that same vein of blaster. Um, before people mention it, Excalibur is definitely a nod to the Caliburn. Um, I asked Captain Slug if I could name it that, in, you know, like a homage to the Caliburn. He said yes. So Excalibur. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, going over some of the features, uh, this has ball bearings in the prime. So it's nice and smooth. Very smooth. Also has a ball detent right about here on the inside of there. So even because, or when this has that smooth prime, it kind of can wiggle around if you don't lock it in place. So this has a little ball detent in there to make sure that this priming block stays in place when it's primed and doesn't come loose and slide around. You know, small things like that. Um, you can quickly swap the barrel on this. Uh, there is a little screw right here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there's an arrow right next to it pointing towards it. There's a little screw, M3 screw. Loosen that a little bit, then the barrel can come off. I haven't decided if I'm going to add a barrel um, collet to the front, which you can use in addition to or instead of that screw. Um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to add that, um, but I might. Um, other than that, you just loosen that little screw, and then this barrel comes right out. Stick another one in, tighten the screw a little bit. Nice and easy. On the theme of easiness, this also has quick spring swapping through the back. So this has a little door here, a center circular bit. Push that in and you twist it, and then out comes your spring. This is a piece of K26, or this is a entire K26, not just a piece. Um, this blaster uses Caliburn length springs because, because, you know, shops are already selling Caliburn length springs, so why not use the same stuff? Even though it's a shorter prime, uh, it doesn't take the spring to full compression like a Caliburn does, um, but it's still plenty of power. It's nice. Uh, I like it. And because you're not doing full compression on a spring this long, the prime is buttery smooth. It's so good. Um, this door has two locking lugs on it. One here, one here, uh, and then you just stick this in like this, push it in a bit. Uh, the spring force itself from the spring that you're holding is what provides that little bit of force uh, on the door to get it out and in, into the blaster, so it's nice. Push that in, twist it, using little stock lines as little gripping points, uh, and then you push that in, and then it's good to go. So you can really easily, you know, between games or between wars, swap out the spring for a lighter one or a heavier one, stick back in the thing, and then change out your barrel to match your new spring and then, you know, go and play at a different FPS level. 
go for range or dart type uh, because you can also use half length darts on this as well as full length darts. So uh, if I get a full length dart magazine, you can see it stays in there very nicely. That looks so cool, yeah. And then you can take your adapter, which has a little pin on it. You take out the pin. Uh, this is not the correct pin that I have. Um, the correct pin for this is one that has like a little ball detent on the end. It's the same pin that a Lynx uses. Um, and that will like stay in this for storage. Like it won't fall out because it has a little, little keeping thingy on it. Um, but this pin works for the prototype. So you prime this back, stick this guy in, and then you can see this little hole here. You stick your pin in that. So I'll do it from this side. And there you go. You can see you got this nice orange thingy here. And you can see up here, it now makes up the front feed lips uh, to guide it into the chamber. You get your Talon magazine and stick that in there. Now, one of the problems with this first prototype is that the Talon magazine doesn't have an end stop to it. I forgot to add that to this adapter piece. So there should be some little tabs in there that prevent it from going that high, but like right about there is about right. And then you would chamber it and fire it. Uh, this is a piece of K25 in here and 120 millimeters of prime. And I have a wall like right here off screen. I don't want to shoot through my drywall, so I'm going to shoot this way. So this is shooting really hard. Uh, I have not chronographed it yet with like K25 or with 788 or anything. Um, I just got this prototype assembled less than an hour ago um, and I just wanted to show it off on video. So I haven't chronographed it yet, but it's good. It's shooting really hard on K25 and on 788, it's really nice. It's so smooth. Like you can prime it with your pinky finger on 788 and it's shooting full length darts on 788 spring um, really nicely. Uh, you know, full length darts have a tendency to kind of go woo, kind of veer off course really easily. Um, but with a 788 spring in this and the correct length barrel, um, the darts are going where I'm aiming them, which is nice. So yeah, I think that's pretty, much pretty successful on the goal of firing full length darts uh, without them being completely useless, uh, which is nice. So, yeah. Um, there's more features to this thing uh, that I'm not going to go over quite yet uh, because, you know, this is just a quick little showcase video. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish off this magazine and then that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to keep up to date on more things involving Excalibur, including figuring out what the front end is going to look like because this is all blank right now because uh, I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to sketch out like the shape that I want to actually 3D model it for the next prototype. Anyway, um, if you want to keep up to date on progress on this blaster, uh, subscribe, YouTube things, like video, ring bells, I don't know. Um, and if you want to help support this stuff, uh, I do have a Patreon and a Buy Me A Coffee linked in the video description. But other than that, I'm going to uh, finish off this magazine. Oh, and also uh, the filament for this blaster was provided to me for free by Polymaker. So uh, there you go, now you know. Uh, this is, I think, neon yellow Polymaker. This is some sort of dark gray from them. Uh, and then their orange is really nice. It's nice and vibrant. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish off this magazine and then that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'm gonna go make some potatoes, it's gonna be nice. So there's Excalibur. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I already said all the like, subscribe things. All right, bye. I'm gonna go make dinner.